this is where uh, this if, is where the, the other folks would be saying a prayer. I have asked you to take these to our back when we leave. When we leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. We might have time to change. And when we leave, we're saying we got, uh, freedom for Gaza, justice for Gaza. And I also have copies of our demands. The thing is, Ed, we can't wait till next week because over the weekend, hundreds more people are going to die. And actually, today, Ed, I need to tell you that we're we're here to sit in. In fairness, is that I wanted to go back and have a clear get clarity around these positions with with my party, and I thought that you would think that that would be a fair thing to do. How can we wait any longer? How can we wait? If you did, Mr. Kennedy, uh, your your party has been pretty clear. Um, you know, I don't really believe your party is going to change its mind. We we hope to you might. <laughs> As well, our representative, yeah. we, we've written to Prime Minister Harper and, and Minister Cannon and gotten nowhere on these. They just won't recognize that they're war crimes. We wrote specifically on the uh, the. Canada's vote on the UN Human Rights Council, and then they won't reverse that. So it's down to you to, to take and a stand. And do you know how embarrassing us. that is, as Canadians, for our country to vote against that? The only vote against that? That makes me sick to call myself a Canadian. And we came here, we, we deliberately didn't bring with us uh, our Arab friends, our Muslim friends, any of those people. We wanted you to realize, you know, that here's four people born in Canada, about as white bread as you can find. And we are just as concerned and just as embarrassed about our government as, as those other people who have direct personal ties to Palestine. And I have, and I have Muslim friends coming in uh, I'm sure. to this office on Monday. And we're going to have a dialogue on this as well. This is a humanitarian crisis. We don't need dialogue. We need action. We need our government to stand up. We need action. While we're sitting in this office, children are dying in Gaza. Children are being burned with white phosphorus. It's we've, not okay. Yeah, we, we've rallied over the past couple of weeks with thousands and thousands of Londoners, time after time after time. Huge fundraisers, rallies on the street, gatherings of women and children telling their stories, the stories of their relatives. And, you know, like, what can we, we've written letters, we've sent faxes, we've sent emails, what more can we do? Can I excuse me for just a minute? Um, a channel is here, I'm gathering all those people up by the road, okay. it are related to you guys? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. they're wondering if they could get a little shot of you guys meeting together, um, and I told them I'd speak to you about that. This, this feels like an interesting setup. Yeah. And, it's not and, a setup. And, 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 this is an opportunity, Ed. Well, Take this opportunity. In my first couple of months now as a member of Parliament, it's kind of an interesting new experience in that I've in that, uh, mm -hmm. never had uh, folks just come in and say their thing. And, uh, and, and so what I would say to you is uh, I would just appreciate the courtesy to have, to, to have that dialogue. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and on Friday at, at, at 5 o'clock, the odds of getting the minister, or that minister, or the prime minister for that matter. Be very difficult. Well, can we try? Yeah, I could try. Okay. Your cabinet colleagues have had a long time to answer this. This is three weeks of this massacre. Okay. These people can't wait longer. We feel like there's nothing left to do except what we're doing. And it's not about we're us. We're desperate because they're desperate. Yeah. Because you don't know my style yet, mm -hmm. but I believe in everybody being straight up. It's fine that there are folks here. I would not have avoided this meeting. So you know if that was the fear, but I believe in full disclosure too, and it would have been I think it would have been appropriate to do that. Well, your party hasn't displayed full disclosure, and what I'm asking you to do, what, but what I'm asking you to do for is to give me a chance to talk to my well, party we've, we've and, had, and, 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 and to answer your question. Until I've had a chance to have more dialogue with my party, I'll be really clear. Uh, I, 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 I'm not prepared to make more statements about that because I do need to have that. Okay. I think that's a thoughtful dialogue because I want to be able to respond. The 8th of January, okay. we and a dozen other groups in London applied a letter to Prime Minister Harper, to Minister Cannon, and to you and all the other London MPs. We haven't heard responses from the government. I think you know what we thought and you know what we wanted for over a week. Uh, so, I mean, we initiated the dialogue. This isn't a surprise. We haven't got an answer, satisfactory answer from the government. 
But you've come, come in, you've come in good faith to me. Yeah. And I'm asking you in good faith. Well, we came in good faith to you on the 8th of January, and we didn't hear anything yet. You've had, you could have consulted with, uh, with Cannon or Harper about those points and had some, had some answers for us and told us whether you're going to follow your conscience or your caucus. And I'm asking you to give me the chance to have that dialogue. And we're asking you to follow your conscience right now. Well, the, the two may not be inconsistent. It, I'm asking you to give me a chance yeah. to dialogue with them. Well, we, we can wait here really? in your office while you dialogue with them. That's fine. And we're happy yeah. to do that. I've cleared my calendar. Well, then you know we could be here a long time, folks. If I was this father and this was happening to my child, I'd want to know that people elsewhere in the world weren't just having a dialogue. I would want to know that they were actually doing something, doing everything they could to at least call this by its name and stop even using euphemisms like self-defense. That's what I would want if I was that guy. Opinions reflect those of thousands and thousands and thousands of Londoners. I appreciate that. And most of the international community. And Canada stands alone with what the US and maybe Australia on this. But the world community is increasingly calling this by its name. Um, in my line of work, I read the European press. Their people are saying this is a war crime. But why is Canada covering it up? We are losing respect of our international community, Ed. This is an opportunity to show that one of our conservatives, at least, has a conscience. Well, if it wasn't, you'll forgive my naivete, but if it wasn't a setup, the E-Channel wouldn't be here, and if there's folks out there, they wouldn't be there unless that's it's a setup. Well, we that's had a plan. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's pretty clear. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty clear. But that's an opportunity. And I know, and I know what we're trying to do. But it's you know still what? an opportunity. Yeah, but you know what? Um, it's still an opportunity. And you've had... You've had pretty good idea of what we were looking for for more than a week and you've had other priorities well, so I, we're trying to well, change your well, priorities well, and, and to I his understand. priorities yeah we've done we've done the rallies we've done the letters we've done the emails we've done the phone calls now we're doing this these people need us they need governments like our government to take a stand we are their only say voice. the truth we are they, their only hope you are our hope today I think the issue might be, am I prepared to go as far as you're asking me to go? That yeah. might be the question. Yeah. And, uh, and, and while it's a legitimate question, what I've said to you is I want to get my party's position on these issues as well, mm -hmm. including definition of war crime and some of the specifics here, uh, to be able to respond. Mm -hmm. And you know, believe me when I tell you, I understand tragedy. And so when I see this, my heart goes to these folks. It, it has to. I don't know what I can get in the next few minutes. If I can't, I'll come back and tell you that as well. But you're welcome to stay here for a few minutes. Yeah. And please, I would tell you that if I can't do that, then uh, uh, then I, I won't make a position beyond what I've said. Uh, I'm not trying to put you in an awkward spot or myself for that matter. I'm just trying to be thoughtful in this. And uh, let me do that. So you'll excuse me for a few minutes.